okay, in this presentation, I'll just make the, this is what you should see when you log into this website. It's notebooks.azure.com and it's sharing your ideas made easy. So essentially, it's an online platform for Jupyter Notebooks. So we're, I'm going to sign in. Now, I actually already have, uh, this is like my login page. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign in here. Uh, but essentially, you might have to go through a little bit of a process there to set up. Uh, essentially, what you have, my, uh, you know, a Hotmail account or something like that is sort of preferable, or it, it makes life a little bit easier. Uh, but you, you know, you might be asked for a security code or something like that. Uh, but even still, it only should take about five or ten minutes to set up. So I'm just going to pause the video for a second. Oops, uh, just to sort of log in because I don't want to be giving out my details, obviously. Just pause that. So I have logged in here and uh, essentially what I'm going to do is I am going to set up a, essentially uh, what I might do is uh, you have to set up libraries, okay? So these are all the libraries I have already because I've been working on this for quite a while now. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to pick out one. So essentially what you do to set up a library, you might have new library and then uh, what you have to do there, you might, this is a step you always have to make because everything, everything is based around your libraries. New library and essentially there you go, you put in a library name, a friendly name, just something that's, you know, descriptive. An ID, that's something that's easy to find, unique ID and a description. So just put in something there like SKL workshop or PyData workshop or something like that. And here something a bit more descriptive. So essentially you have to fill in all three steps and you can sort of say public library or private library. Okay. So I have one of these already set up but essentially you just go through the step here. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cancel that and I'm just going to look at all the libraries I have built up here loads of them there so essentially what I'm going to do is go down to you can sort them as well uh, like by I have a couple of uh, by the status by the time created by name and by the last time you use them so so on you can you know uh, pretty good now I'm going to use just pretend I've uh, set up scikit-learn uh, notebooks okay so what I'm going to do now is add a new um, I'm going to add a new uh, thing to this, okay, new a uh, Jupyter Notebook. So my new SKL Notebook, something like that, okay. So far so good. Now, what I'm going to do is click on the language. So I'll go to Python 3.6, okay, and that sets up the notebook. Now, just actually as a remark, I could actually import a notebook elsewhere so essentially what you might do is like if you how if you're working on other notebooks or from another computer you can just upload them from your pc or usb stick something like that so go to from computer just choose notebooks go to your file directory and find it let's go back here i'm going to python 3.6 new let's go go in there it should be in there somewhere and uh, my new there we go. Now, and it sets up our Jupyter Notebook. Let's give it a second there. There we go. It's uh, powered by Azure Machine Learning. It's Python. It's in the library Scikit-Learn Workshop and so on. So essentially, you know, we're ready to go basically. SKLearn as SKL. And there you go, that quick as that. So um, you can also do markdown as well and things like that and run cells. Essentially it's a Jupyter notebook from here on in. Uh, just in case you had an old notebook and you want to do import it there, I think you can change the kernel like that. So if it's you know updated to 3.6 or something like that. Uh, just incidentally you can run our notebooks as well. Uh, but not Julia, not yet. Okay. Anyway, I think that's everything I want to say. That's how to use Azure Notebooks.